Hey y'all, we'll be doing lots of Instant Pot recipes throughout this month and we're doing one more focused Instant Pot recipe and this is going to be a arroz con pollo which is a really fragrant and peppery and delicious chicken and rice sort of recipe. There's going to be some Puerto Rican sort of influences in this dish and I think it's going to be amazing. So we'll first start by marinating the chicken. So start by adding in some olive oil into a large bowl for all your chicken. Then add in a splash of vinegar, then some chili powder, paprika, it can be the sweet or the mild variant, a bit of oregano, dried, some garlic powder, onion powder, and salt. Now you want to be generous with the salt at this stage because there's a lot of chicken and it's going to help season the rice at the end as well. So whisk this up really well it'll be nice and pasty so that it can really coat the chicken thighs toss your thighs into that bowl and just use a pair of tongs or a clean set of hands and just massage that marinade into that chicken just let the chicken marinate for about 30 or so minutes and we'll focus on making our sofrito which is just a combination of aromatic ingredients that are chopped up really really finely almost into a paste and we'll take the chicken out for 15 minutes before we're gonna start cooking to get the chill out so here I just have some regular red peppers which I've chopped roughly and then some Spanish onions I've chopped one up roughly into these cubes as you can see and we also have jalapeno now ideally if you can find aji dulce pepper you want to use that but I couldn't find it I'm gonna use jalapeno which I have de-seeded and de-veined as you can see because most of the spice is in that white part. And I'll roughly chop that up and I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of the habanero as well for some spice, not too much. I'm gonna try to avoid adding any of the seeds or any of the white parts. So just like about a half of it just roughly chopped and that should be good. We also have our cubanelli pepper. This is the closest thing I could find, close to a cubanelli. And similar to the red pepper over here, I'm gonna roughly chop that up and make sure that I've de-seeded and de-veined this as well. And just roughly chop that up. Next, we have some tomatoes, which I have cored. You can just use a paring knife and just kind of just cut around the core part and then lift it out that's done here and then we're gonna separate the leaves of these cilantro and we'll cook the stems separately and then the leaves separately as well so go ahead and separate that out okay and there you go I'm gonna roughly chop up the stems as well and then over this side we have our garlic now these are quite large so I'm gonna consider this to be two garlics and my cloves are like not as strong. Now grab your best food processor and you may have to do this in batches if it's not big enough and just add in everything besides the cilantro stems. So your onions, your red peppers, cilantro leaves, your cubanelli peppers, habanero, jalapeno, all of that. And I quartered my tomatoes before adding it, pulse it, a couple of times until you get a nice puree which is not completely smooth it still has some coarseness so try to just keep a mental picture of what the texture should look like for your sofrito and just make sure that you do not add your cilantro stems at this stage we'll be using that at the end now let's look at our instant pot hit saute make sure it's on high mode or more and then add in your olive oil. Once that oil is hot, then add in your chicken. Now that chicken has a ton of flavor in there. All of our spices are gonna be in the chicken. It's gonna disperse all that in the oil. It's gonna release some of the water. We wanna cook this chicken out until it is brown on each side. We don't necessarily have to cook it all the way through. Just focus on getting the right color for now. Now the chicken is looking pretty good actually. And there's a decent amount of color on each side. I don't want any of these spices down here to burn. So this is a good time for you to just take the chicken out and just set it aside in a plate. 
Now we do not want this to continue to burn, so add in a splash of broth. And we can now add in our sofrito all in here. Just mix that up really well. There's a lot of water in here, from tomatoes, from the peppers. So it's gonna take some time, but you wanna cook this out completely. When the sofrito is close to being done, it's gonna become nice and thick, almost like a paste, and the oil should start to separate because that's gonna be a good sign that the actual veggies, that mixture of deliciousness is fully cooked out. It took me about 25 or so minutes and the mixture looks kind of like this. And you can see now that there's barely any moisture or water in the pot and it's just a nice mixture or sofrito. Now add in your chopped up cilantro stems, about a half teaspoon of ground cumin, about a teaspoon of ground coriander, a tablespoon of tomato paste, a touch of salt, and some pepper as well. Mix this all, we'll cook it for a couple of minutes. Now I'm gonna add in just about two cups of chicken broth and one bay leaf and my chicken along with any juices that are on the plate. Mmm, beautiful. We'll mix this ever so slightly. Gonna add in just about half a cup of passata or strained tomatoes. Just spread that out lightly around the pan. Hit cancel on the instant pot. Add in about a cup and a half of your rice. What I'm using is our Borio rice, but you can use any other medium grain rice. Bomba rice, the Spanish kind, would be great for this. And again, don't stir it, but just make sure that the rice is in that liquid. And try to get it as even as you can. Close the lid. Make sure the valve is in sealing mode. And now set your IP to pressure cook mode for six minutes on high pressure and normal heat. So my timer has gone off. Now you wanna let the pressure release naturally for about 10 minutes and then release any remaining pressure by turning the valve carefully without boiling yourself. Open that lid and this is what you're gonna see. You can gently mix the rice with that beautiful broth using a spoon, but we don't wanna mix it too much at this stage. Now we just pressure cooked that rice, so you wanna be very careful and just let that rice kinda of mellow out, cool down a bit because if you mix it too much, you might just make it turn into mush. So let it be chill for about 10 or so minutes and then we'll have something that looks a bit like this. And you can see that the rice is super well cooked and you can taste this now and really adjust the seasoning as you like. I think I want a tiny bit of salt. Now just mix that really well. And just by the way that we layered everything, nothing has burnt at the bottom, as you can see. It's all nice and clean. Now, this is super delicious and, and you're gonna love it. And I'm excited for you to see what's in store for the month of October. Stay tuned, hit subscribe, hit that bell icon and let me know if there's something that you want me to focus on for the upcoming months. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.